Welcome to the Virtual Manager podcast. My name's Anna Russell. I'm an artist manager and founder of The Virtual Manager. Throughout my career, I've developed and managed several music artists from new unsigned acts right through to globally successful ones. This podcast is for all unmanaged or independent music artists who want to start, build or grow a successful, sustainable music career. As someone who makes music, your primary aim is probably to make sure that it gets heard, ideally by listeners who are fans of your style and genre of music. But as an early stages or emerging artist, your current fan base and social media following may be very small, albeit growing, meaning that your fan base's support alone is not necessarily going to make great waves for your music. Therefore, you need to ensure that your music is heard by a wider audience than your own existing one, thus allowing you to promote your music more widely, raise your profile amongst new audiences, and hopefully see them become fans of yours. This, of course, is the simple concept behind music PR, having your music promoted to and heard by a wider audience. Traditionally, we tend to think of printed press, music blogs and radio as the main forms of PR for music artists. And often that's where I see lots of my customers and clients going to first. However, if you're an aspiring, self-releasing or self-funded artist, which I know many listeners of this podcast are, some of these forms may be out of reach for you, either due to lack of budget to pay a PR person or radio plugger, or simply because it may be too early in your career for them to feature you quite yet. You will also likely be competing with more established artists whom these platforms know their audience are already keen to hear about. Instead, you want to target forms of PR who are open to your music, not just due to its style and genre, but also because they are happy to champion new, sometimes very new, artists, often those in the earliest stages of their artist journeys. More importantly, you want to be targeting promotional platforms which will hopefully convert its listeners, readers and watchers into followers and fans of yours. Unfortunately, press, blogs and radio are usually not the most effective platforms for doing this as a new artist, at least not alone. And so you may not see any tangible building of your fan base even if you were to get them. So I'm going to give you a real life recent example from an artist that I have been working with who has been played now, uh, has had their latest single played now on Radio 1 a good couple of handfuls of times over the last few weeks. And we have not seen any tangible uptick in social media followers or fans or even listeners from that. Although we are hugely grateful for the exposure, of course, and I am sure that there are people that heard it and that will be following them in future. Conversely, around that same time, we had that same single featured on an Instagram account that is built around their genre of music and has a huge worldwide following. And the day that they were posted on that account, in the 24 hours following, we picked up 500 new social media followers, all of whom had come as traffic from having heard the song on that account. Now, I'm not saying that means you should ignore printed press, music blogs or radio as an early stages artist. These absolutely have their place and they tend to serve still as the best concepts of proof to music industry personnel who follow them. They're just not as likely to convert their audience into your fans, which remember is the main aim of PR. In short, they may not be the most effective form of getting your music heard and building your fan base, particularly if you're working with very limited budget or are working independently. If this is you, there's a better suited approach to getting your music heard. It involves getting you and your music featured in places and on platforms that are accessible for artists at your stage, of your budget, and will tangibly grow your following and fan base. Now, this includes in real life, such as at gigs and live events that have a pre-existing audience who attend regardless of what the lineup is, but I'm talking predominantly about online. So what would examples of these be? 
Just some could be being featured on a YouTube music channel with a large number of subscribers, a clip of you performing being shared on an Instagram account with a huge following, all dedicated to your music genre, getting onto a large established user playlist on Spotify, an influencer using your music in their TikTok video, or a gamer including your music in his latest vlog. Plus, using social media advertising that enables you to directly target fans of your music at a very, very low cost, much less than hiring an online PR or a radio plugger. There are a vast number of platforms, channels, accounts and events that have huge and engaged audiences built entirely around music of your style and genre or showcasing the raw talent of vocalists and musicians, often for free. More often than not, these are usually the best place to start if you are a self-funded, self-releasing artist looking to get their music heard. So how do you actually start doing that? Well, this is where your time and your research skills come into play. You want to source all of these platforms that could be applicable to you and your music, making a very long list and then approaching them to share your music, your content or your social media posts on their own platform. This can, of course, be especially useful for sending new releases to said platforms as part of your music release campaigns. However, many of these are also suitable to brand new artists who aren't yet releasing music, but are sharing their musical talent online. Now you might be thinking, well, this sounds like a lot of hard work. How do I find them? And I'm gonna have to constantly be looking up sources of PR and promotion on top of all the other things that I need to do as an artist this year. That's why I've created the Get Heard Challenge. It's a five day challenge that takes you through the process of researching each of the promotional platforms and PR opportunities that are suited to the type of artist you are and your music so that by the end of the five days, you have a full spreadsheet of promotional targets that you can then use for the entire year and beyond. I even provide the spreadsheet workbook and also some appropriate PR targets for you to get started with. Now, this is a challenge I've run before and several of the artists who took part previously went on to have their music featured on the platforms, channels and publications they found during the challenge. So if you would like to join us for this next one, it starts this coming Monday, the 1st of February and it ends on Friday, the 5th of February. So that's just five days to get a full PR target list tailored for you. It takes place inside the Virtual Manager, which is my membership for music artists, which if you didn't already know, if you join by this Sunday, the 31st of January, you can get a 14 day trial membership for just one pound. So really it's a no brainer that if you want to have a huge list of promotional and PR targets for just one pound, it's worth joining for that alone. But you do of course get access to all of the other trainings, resources, live Q and A's with me and a and feedback on your music as well. To take advantage of this offer and take part in the Get Heard Challenge, join us now at thevirtualmanager.co.uk by midnight this Sunday, the 31st of January. I really cannot wait to see you there. The last time we did this challenge, it was so invigorating and exciting and um, all of the artists that took part were so proactive. It was a real joy to then see them go out with their PR lists um, to the world and start working, working their music and hustling to get heard. So I hoped to see you there. In the meantime, thank you so much for listening. I will be back next week with another new episode of the Virtual Manager podcast. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Virtual Manager podcast. If you found it useful, I invite you to check out the Virtual Manager membership site, an essential resource for independent artists who want to start, build or grow a successful, sustainable music career. Everything you hear about on this podcast, we show you how to do in there. With monthly music industry training, a library of tools and resources for you to use, a and feedback on your music, access to live Q&As with me, plus an active supportive community of like-minded artists, the virtual manager is the perfect place to be for any unmanaged or independent music artist. Check it out now at thevirtualmanager.co.uk. Finally, please take a minute to review and subscribe to this podcast. It helps more independent music artists to find us.